everyone. This is Ivy. Say hi. Hi. As you can see, he is very passionate about the scientific world. Today, Ivy and Mummy is going to read you a story about electricity. Yeah. Shall we start the story now? Here. Yeah. Once upon an electron, there lived a boy named Elliot. Mm -hmm. Elliot was a very curious boy who loved to experiment things. One day in school, Electro, Mr. Electro was teaching the science class electricity. Okay guys, how is electrical energy transferred from different forms? There was no answer because no one knew it. There are three ways. Do you know that? Friction. Mm -hmm. Two, two objects to run against each other is the energy. Yeah. Contact. When two objects touch means touch it, each other. It looks like clips. Yes, like clips. Even a induction. When a charge of it comes close to a non charge of it. Said Mr. Electro. This? Yeah, now kids, let's do a left activity on circuit. So build a series and parallel circuit. You will be graded on next week. But Mr. Electro, what is a circuit? Asked Elliot. Well, a circuit is a closed loop that electrons travel through, said Mr. Electro. What, what is a loop? Can you show me how a loop looks like? Yes. And through that, what is flowing? Electrons, right? Looks like how, this. How do we make a circuit? Said Elliot. You will need, what are things we need? Our source block, like a battery, yes. a wall, like a white bulb of air. And connect your wires to join all of them together. together. Replied Mr. Electro. What flows through a circuit? Said Elliot. Jelly beans. Jelly beans? Is Six. it? Tom. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. Through a circuit, said Mr. Electro. The kids then started to build the electrons. We got shocked because there's currents. Oh, one student got shocked. What is, why is that? Because. That's what's a current, said Tom. A current, a flow of electron in a circuit. But be careful, kids. If you use two batteries for one bulb, the light bulb will burn out. Maybe That's one. because yeah, there is too much voltage. Aiki, I think you also know how to build a series and a parallel circuit, isn't it? Yeah. Can you show how? So first, this is the series circuit with the motor and the speaker. Hmm. So I turn on. It does the speaker. Here's the motor speed. Hmm. So this is a series or a parallel one. This series. First, it goes plus in here. Then goes into there. So is it like a loop that how Mr. Electro said? Yeah. So it goes like this. This is the loop. And I will show you the Is that a parallel circuit? Yes, this is the parallel circuit. So when the switch is on, then the current goes like this. And then it goes into this. And it's again like a loop, isn't it? Okay, shall we go back to the story again? The light bulb will not work because wood was acting as an insulator. What's an insulator? It's not a conductor. It's not metal. Yes. What kind of insulators? Can you give me an example? Um, wood, plastic, um, um, something like. How about t-shirt? T-shirt. Clothes. Clothes. Yes. Can you tell me some conductors then? Like paper clip. Uh, paper clip. Foil. Water. 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 Yes. Should we touch electricity with water? That dangerous. Dangerous, why? 
because we're not showing something very like this. Yes. Okay. So knowing all that knowledge, Elliot went home happy, knowing the basics of electricity. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye.